Hi guys, uh, today I'm gonna share a story, so no big theory, just uh, uh, a real story which happened on the weekend. So last Sunday, uh, I decided to bring my daughter to Lavender Hill, which is a small farm uh, not far away from, from our home. So after the breakfast, we went to the car park and I found that my car uh, cannot, couldn't be start, couldn't start. So uh, I guess maybe it's the problem of battery because the night before I spent uh, half an hour sitting in the car with my daughter listening the music and but we didn't uh, fully start started the engine probably that makes the battery running out so yeah i called aa for help and then sent the road service and the guy came fixed the problem in five minutes yeah professionals um actually yeah it is the it was the problem of battery so he just brought another battery and start the, the car with that one and then yeah uh, everything's fine so in his suggestion that uh, we don't need to replace the battery but we can still drive and then uh, if there's any if there will be another problem happen next time I can call AA for help and they will send a new battery uh, to me uh, when wherever I am in uh, in New Zealand, yeah, it is the first time I found uh, AA membership is so worth the price. Yeah, speaking of this story, so maybe a lot of Kiwis will uh, curious about this. So uh, maybe they will ask, why didn't you just borrow uh, your neighbor's battery and fix the problem by yourself? The answer is. I can't. I don't know how to do that. Um, uh, actually, I know nothing about automobile. Uh, the only thing I can do for my car is to top up the gas and sometimes, occasionally, to fill up the um, the window clean water. Yeah, this is all I can do, and uh, nothing uh, besides that. So maybe a lot of Kiwis are capable of doing anything by themselves. So uh, they can build anything they want, they can fix anything, and they can grow anything in their garden. But not for me. Yeah, I'm, and I believe for most of Chinese, we have the same problem. We don't know too much about our automobile or anything related to DIY. Yeah. So probably this will bring out another stereotype um, issue is about does Asians especially Chinese are bad drivers I believe in some uh, level yes it is and but that uh, is for a reason you know uh, most of my uh, most of the Chinese uh, like in my age when I was really small uh, when I was really young about 20 years ago uh, when I was 10 like uh, at that time most of our friends didn't have car yeah uh, actually it's really rare in that time and later when I was uh, when I was um, how old that uh, about when I was in my 20s some friends uh, got cars and that's also very um, very unique not not uh, not a common thing to have and then in my 30s um, most of the Chinese families have at least one car in their family especially um, the uh, in the more developed area like the coast area of China uh, yeah uh, it's become very common so uh, like uh, that the, the young age like my daughter she will grow up with uh, with cars oh, from the very beginning of her life 
uh, from the very beginning, for the f from the first day of her life, but not for me, right? And not for most of Chinese adults. So, and I believe that is the problem why we don't drive very well.、Uh, but I think this is just a stereotype and not common. Not and、uh, don't put a label for individual cases. And、um, you know, it's also. Quite common in China, we have this kind of similar stereotype. Like if we saw somebody drives not that good on the road,、uh, if we saw a really weak driver, we will say, "Wow, she's driving not that good. Probably she's、uh, is a female driver. Believe me." And yeah, this is also another kind of stereotype. And I don't have any.、Uh, Big theory about this story to share, just a, a daily story. Of, okay, so that's all for today's、uh, English block, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.